And on the eighth day, we're going to be taking a look at Better Man. And this is one of those animes that has a very interesting mixture of genres. So, it's science fiction, horror, and mecha. Yeah, mecha and horror, that's something you don't really see too often. I mean, the only anime I can think of that has those two genres is Fight Icer 1, which I did review. And another thing I should mention is that this anime actually takes place in the same universe as uh, King of Braves, Go Gygar. Now, I have yet to see that one, but apparently there's actually some minor characters from that anime that do appear in Better Man. So if you've seen that anime before, then you will notice a lot of things that are going to be very familiar to you. But anyways, now let's talk about the story. So what's happened in this world is that there is a deadly virus called Algernon, and it has a wide range of side effects that are pretty messed up. And as for our main character, his name is Keita, and he happens to be a high school student who is obsessed with anything military related. And he's also your typical stereotype nerd. So one day at school, he recognizes that the new student with some fruity, straight-looking hair is a childhood friend of his named Hinoki. He tries to get her attention, but it doesn't seem to be going out so well. Now, so far, this may sound pretty generic shit, but let me get there. So as he is walking home from school, he ends up falling down a hole into an underground carnival, which is pretty messed up as it is, and of course he's being attacked by a bunch of weird shit. But as he's running around shitless, he ends up uh, finding some uh, pink-haired chick named Sakura, who happens to be tied to a weird contraption. And the sum up her is that not only is she born with a weak immune system, but she is also born with a limp channel, which is basically like psychic powers. So she can read a whole bunch of stuff from like miles away, but of course she happens to uh, spit it out in a cryptic manner. So after a little bit, he ends up finding a mech, and who happens to be piloting the mech happens to be Hinoki of all people. And he wants to help her out for that not only is he like scared shitless in this situation, but also he really wants to drive a mech. So the sum of what's happening here is that there is an organization called Akumatsu Industries, and the founder happens to be Shigeru Akumatsu. In the past, he has done many different things with this Akamatsu Industries, but what he does now is that he made a, a newer roids, which basically fights off against the Algernon. Yeah, I just figured I'd mention this though, but there is a lot of techno babble within here, and I'm not gonna get too, too much into it there, because like I said, there's like Nunaroids, there's like Algernon, and there's like a whole lot of other shit, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. Besides, I don't want this to be like, like an hour long video. But yes, Keita agrees that he wants to help them out. So as they're fighting off this one weird fucking monstrosity, they happen to get saved by a giant monster who happens to be known as Better Man. Now this is the part where it starts to get a little tricky to explain simply. So this Better Man is supposedly the next step to human evolution, where if they eat the core of a special flower, they can actually transform and have all these different crazy powers. And Better Man usually does have many different forms. So I think that's the easiest way I can put it without going too much into detail and also going into spoilery stuff, because I have to say, finding out about all like the crazy details is really what makes this one so interesting. And you can really tell that they put a lot of effort into making up this mythos. But that sums up everything you need to know about this one, at least for basic stuff. But before we move on, there is one thing I do want to touch base on a little bit, is that... While this anime is considered a horror, it's not the type of horror that you think it would be. Because when it comes to horror animes, what's usually the first thing that comes to mind? You know, like, lots of blood and gore, people dying in horrifying ways, or just dealing with certain themes, like, you know, like vampires, zombies, goats, you know, the usual. But this one, believe it or not, really doesn't have a whole lot of that. In fact, out of all of the animes that I've been reviewing in this feature so far, this one actually has the least amount of blood and violence. But that's not saying that this is a pussy pushover or anything like that, of course not, because while it does lack in blood and violence, it does make up for everything else in the horror genre. So for starters, you get a lot of creepy imagery, and I mean a lot. With a mixture of some psychedelic shit for good measure, and you also get a lot of uh, good tension and some good atmosphere. So now, let's get moving on and start talking about the show's animation. And the animation in this show, for the most part, is actually really good. 
So the show's animation flow is actually really good, and you get a lot of uh, really cool set pieces, you got some good character designs, and also some really cool monster designs, but I especially really like the designs that they have for Better Man, he just looks fucking badass. And the creepy imagery in this one is also really well done. But as good as the animation is in this one, there is unfortunately one problem I have noticed. A lot of the side characters in this one really have like no faces at all, or at least like they're either blacked out or they're just like completely blank. Now I can understand them doing it for certain scenes, but they pretty much do it like all the time. Makes me wish they could just fill in the blank with just anything. Fuck, just make like a stick figure face into it. Just like put anything in there. But anyways, it's just a minor thing, since it's only there for his minor characters, but yeah, it's just something I have to mention there that I thought was pretty amusing. But yeah, other than that, everything else about the animation is really good. And as for the show's music, it's pretty great. So as I said about this show having good atmosphere, well the music here is definitely really good for that. And you do get some pretty cool songs within action scenes. I really can't complain much about the music because I think it's all like really well done. And speaking of well done, I'd have to say that the opening theme song is really nice, really calming, and really relaxing. And the ending song is pretty cool too. Very strange sounding, but I kinda dig it. But overall, the music in this one is pretty great and does an awesome job at fitting with the scenes. And now, as for the show's voice acting, if you're gonna watch this one in English, it's very inconsistent and just all over the place. And what I mean by all over the place, I mean it's all over the place in the mediocre section. And it is kind of unfortunate that it is, because there's a few casting choices that I was kind of interested in hearing. But before I shit all over it though, I have to mention a few good things, like Hinoki's voice was actually not too bad, at least it kind of fit. Also the voice of Sakura, she actually did sound like she actually tried. But I can easily say that the best voice in here would have to be the voice of Shigeru, who is voiced by David Petit. So not only is he a very underrated voice actor, but I found he fit this role perfectly and actually did the best job that he could. But then again, this is the same guy that voiced Master fucking Asia within G Gundam, so of course it's gonna be awesome. But sadly, other than that, everyone else in this show is either very mediocre, very bland, or just doesn't fit the character whatsoever. In fact, I watched the first 10 episodes of this in English, and ended up switching it to Japanese, and I found it to be a whole lot better. Man. Okay, that was terrible. So now, as for my overall thoughts on Better Man, is that this one is just really great. So firstly, I have to mention is that this one does have a lot of very unique ideas that I was really fascinated by. Also, the characters were really well done. And not only do most of them get some really good development, but also I find a lot of them also do get a lot of really good moments, whether it be for the dark times or the more funny times. Yeah, by the way, the show does have quite a few funny parts within it though, but I feel like it fit the show just right. Like nothing felt way too campy or out of place with the series. And like I said earlier, figuring out all like the techno babble and all like the different like terms and like the mythos and all that is all really fascinating and really interesting for me. And on top of that, you got some really cool action scenes, and you also do get a lot of creepy moments. So if you really do like some mecha animes, also some horror and some science fiction, then I can definitely recommend this one. I thought it was really entertaining all the way through. And after watching this one, it really gets me curious of wanting to watch Go Gaigar, since it's done by the same creator and also takes place in the same universe. I will have to watch it eventually, but for now, I have some other horror animes I gotta review, and thankfully, they're all really short, so they're not gonna take up too much time. But I can tell you this, I definitely do think that Better Man is indeed better than some of those weird OVAs I've been taking a look at lately.